I am an ideal sample of the species Homo sapien, who like to think that they're the best of all the world's mammalians. I know we're neat, but other creatures of the Homo family tree show fascinating facts throughout our evolution's history. Our oldest relative is Ardipithecus remittus, who began to slash a bite and had a skull a lot like me and you. Four million years ago, they shaped the root of Homo's family tree. And split us off from cousins like those silly old world chimpanzees. The next ancestor of our giant hominidae family was bipedal and showed expanding cranial capacity. A genus Australopithecus afarensis though great then was still no ideal sample of the species Homo sapien. Then one or two million years ago was Homo habilis, who picked up tools and made good use for who knows we can't reminisce. Erectors walked to Brighton and they walked right out of Africa, first to settle into Europe's land like France or Mantua. Neanderthalus had a form of primitive society, which doesn't mention bigger brains than even nerdy guys like me. Neanderthalus died out only 20,000 years ago. But Europeans slept around and borrowed some genetic code. The growth of the frontal lobe and chin and smaller nasal cavities defined our kind amidst the world of genetic diversity. In short, despite the giant swarms of primates and mammalians, I am the ideal sample of the species Homo sapien.